we are live and i'm sorry for the little bit of delay we had some audio problems with our darkness cam here uh it, it was wanting to create an echo for us this is our new darkness cam by the way and these are the darkness points we've also had a bit of a problem with um with with him him that one there saying there should only be 11 darkness points um and uh, the rest of us think it's 13 but uh that argument has been solved and we are ready to play i'd like to point out that didn't make us late it was the darkness point. cam that made this yeah. date i'll be perfectly frank um i set it up but then as soon as everybody came on board we noticed that uh Streamyard insists that there's at least a minimum level of volume on the phone i can't turn it right off and the phone's right by my mic so now the phone is playing to my headphones which are in this bag and we didn't need over quite here. so much explanation, but thanks. Uh, <laughs> technical. Well, it's, yeah. I'm just helping out people that might be wanting to stream stuff on StreamYard. That's <laughs> the sort of helpful guy I am. Now, where were we? I'll tell you where we were. We were at the hospital. We were. Yeah. Uh, I think Havima was in trouble, I think, wasn't he? Well, Havima he was had just attack attacked a guard. Oh. And um, that attack had gone reasonably well. You, you'd scored some damage. You had not scored a critical hit. The guard is still alive. And I said that the very first thing we were going to do is dole out some some initiative cards. Initiative, so, yes. who... Oh, that's what these are upside down. Give me a moment. There we go. All those out. Havima, you're right next to me. This is Havima. Jonathan, you Hello. have got a two... Oh, now remind me—is low good in this? No, six. It six goes first. Right, uh, Yakub, you have got a four. Okay. Uh, you have got Oshian a two. A two, and the guard has got a five. Ah. So does that mean he so goes first? The guard is going to go first. Now, I do you know, go. Okay, yeah, I don't I still don't be that. I get four. If I'm using my rifle, I get plus two on my initiative, so that makes me four. <clears throat> All right, that makes you four. Okay, so you're on four. Oh, no, 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 sorry, my mistake. I'm reading the bonus, not the initiative. I get no bonus initiative. You get me. no I, bonus on your rifle. Sorry, my my own, hand yeah. fan is plus two, so that would take me up to four. That would take you up to four. Okay. And I remember, Oshan, that you had a sort of Overwatch state last mm. time. So, yeah. in fact, you can take an action whenever you want. So, I think if I see that Havima has gone for him and hasn't put him down, um, and this guy is kind of turning and either drawing a weapon or looking like he's about to shout a warning, I'm going to shoot him. Okay. I think those fit in with my generally relaxed attitude to overwatch dave so uh i'll let you have that <laughs> see what i love about playing games with you two is that you never like bear grudges for years and years after. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, who, who's bearing a grudge i was just uh explaining how i like to play the game you know maybe offering to potential gms how they might run the game if they were uh newbies or something um i mm. Must a bit though. I had the guard out here, and I've lost him now. Give me a moment. So I'm prep. assuming newbie GMs prep for your sessions, and don't <laughs> forget uh, where number, all the stats are. Number one rule: read the scenario first. Um, okay. So I'm assuming I don't get an aim bonus for this, do I? Or do I get an action? Can I aim and shoot, or is it just a shot? This is just a shot without your aim bonus. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So. I get eight dice then, and I get just the one action, don't I, as an Overwatch? So yes. Okay, I've hit him with two successes. Two successes. Um, that that is a crit if he doesn't stop. The, so it does three points of three points of damage, and if that goes through, that'll be a crit. Okay, so let's do his armor first. He's got five points of armor, and look. Roll, uh, gaming in front of the thing, all that damage goes through. 
Okay. Uh, so do I... you want to roll? Yep, I shall roll my black dice. Read that first. And it's 52. 52. That sounds oh. reasonably good. Added bonus. We're seeing Matthew's rolls. I, I didn't realize that. Yeah. I, thought, I thought you were just going to move the tokens from one to the other. Ah. Uh, no, no, no! I've got a separate <clears throat> supply of tokens out of out of sight for the ones, that, uh, <laughs> the ones that you pay for. Um, so that is uh, so Havima. As you're standing there, you've stabbed him in a in a reasonably uh, armor free place, but then uh, you get a, a fine splatter of blood as a bullet goes through this guy's neck. Um, and he's down. He's not dead, but he will die in three hours. Unless you want to do anything for him. Is he unconscious? He's unconscious, yes. Okay. You've just gone straight through his neck. Yeah. Broken his spine at his neck. So he's not good. He's going to be no. paralyzed and from the neck down. Um, assuming nobody treats him, Avima? Jakub? Poor mm. innocent guard. No. Mm. Okay. Hang on, it's mm. it's poor innocent. He's one of these Order of the Pariahs, Elosians who were c colluding in the murder of Nor here. So I'm yeah, I'm like lead out. <laughs> Let's be. I'm just bringing my mic down a bit because I'm reaching up for it. He's not not colluding in the murder of Nor. He's colluding the kidnapping of Nor. Just in because... general, in the in the trading of slaves that resulted in the death of. Not... Well, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, that, that's it. But not the murder of the. I think if you put him in front of a court, he would not be found guilty of that. Maybe guilty by association with with uh, conspiracy. I think conspiracy, surely. yeah, but not the murder thing. Not the murder no. thing. Anyway, it's close, it's close enough for me. No slaughter. Havima, uh, so this guy's standing by you. Do you want to see the map again? Please? Yeah, that would probably be useful. Thanks. Um, let me just get that map up. It should be here, but it isn't. Give me a moment. Hello, hello. Easy on, the, easy on the aisle there. No, I, I just to say in the, in the interlude while Matt's looking for the map, I just knocked off one of my Star Trek models with my elbow, and I caught it before it hit the ground. So I was quite proud of myself because it, it's was broken it, once was already. It, oh, that's the wrong map. Give me a moment. Um, <laughs> was, was it your ball again? No, it wasn't. I wasn't fiddling with my sphere. No. <laughs> okay, tell it again. Uh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I need to, I need to put the ointment on it. It's not normally that green. <laughs> All that knobbly. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, Matthew, please. <laughs> yeah. uh, application window, that one there. Uh, there we go. <laughs> so this is the map, boys and girls, and handily our darkness cam is at the bottom of the uh, of the uh, our little row of people here. I can though, Tony, if you want to make any sulky comments, but you at the bottom. Like that, as easily well, as that. Okay. It might it might happen nevertheless. <laughs> <laughs> um uh, just this comment from Bruce coming across here. <laughs> I think it's true though. <clears throat> it may be true. Uh anyway, uh there's the map. So you guys are down that, that guard was down here. Um, do you want me to zoom in? Anyway, we can't. Uh, oh, hello. We can't see your cursor, by the way, if you're pointing with it. I can't. Ah, uh, right. Okay, let me go back to that bit there, and I'll cursor. Yeah, yeah, the guard go. was yeah. down here. And, and I like um, the darkness <laughs> cam has taken over uh, Dave, Dave's place. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've seen oh, lost someone. Dave might have had an audio problem. Let me see if I can get him back. There he is. Welcome Sorry. back, Dave. <laughs> Sorry about that. Slight technical error at the time. <laughs> okay. Um, Anything for the rest of the stream. Just so, so yeah, this is where you are, Havima. 
Uh, you cannot see any other guards around here. Yeah, sweet. Okay, shall we move up and join her in there then? Please do. Yeah, okay. Do you want to drag the body somewhere into cover? Out of sight, yeah, it's a good idea. Just, just into the lake. <laughs> Down between these two grav craft into the water here, are you thinking? Well, if you put it in the water, it'll just float, won't it? Unless the snakes will get it. Well, that's possible. But it's... <laughs> Can we put it like somewhere just out of sight around the side of these? In this right. bush here? The, the bush green just end? to the southwest of the bottom grav craft. Yes. Yeah. So, sorry, yeah. coming back to this map here, you mean down here? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yes, you, while you're doing that, uh, the others come. Can I get you uh, guys to make an infiltration roll or get the worst of you to make an infiltration roll as you're moving? Mm. Can, uh, I, can I give them a dice of help? I have four um, dice of infiltration. So I have five. Can I help can you? You have the skill. I, oh, yeah. Then you can give him a dice of help, I guess. And that's me being a generous GM again. <sighs> okay, that's no successes. Do you want to give Matthew more darkness points? Yeah, already? I think on this one we probably do. Okay, I am pushing then. Add another darkness point to the pool, and now I get one success. Another darkness point goes in the pool, and you get one success. Okay, yep. you think you've um. Uh, you've got away with it. Um, although I might just take these dice and uh, roll a secret roll that's not in front of the camera. Mm. <laughs> so give me a moment. Go check a couple of stats here. <sighs> Forgive me. We can get back to talking about my sphere if you like, if that's going to be helpful to cover the mm. cover the gap. <laughs> that's okay. I might yeah. encourage Becky to speed up a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, you think you've um. You've not been uh, spotted anywhere. Where are you heading to? Okay, can we um, can you widen the map out again so we can have a mm. have a look? Well, actually, I quite like keeping it like this. Cause then, then you that's pretty much what you can see. But uh, maybe I will widen it for you. Yeah, so we can see there's a bit of a. Mm. Le I mean, yeah, left or right. I say we go the um, the wing to our right yeah that seems like a place to start this one here <clears throat> yeah that's right. or do we want to break through that wall and get into the end of that wing rather than just go in this wing here because that wall's looking pretty damaged right isn't it so we can go and have a look and see if we can we think yeah. we can break through it yeah that's not a bad idea okay, Matt, as, we're, as we're running across here i'm shouldering my sniper rifle and i'm drawing out my day -Al car carbine okay Right, and you uh, go through here. Are you sneaking or just running across? Uh, let's should we sneak, probably. Should we? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Okay then, Tony, you're you're the least infiltrationy. With the help, roll those dice again. Oh fuck's sake! Uh, no successes. Do you want to make a? Do you want to pray to the uh, god of sneaking, whoever that is? Yes, I'm afraid I do. And now I get one success. After. Right, okay. So that's an extra darkest point for me. But sadly, it doesn't save you because uh, the guard that was hiding through here spots the two of you coming and uh, um, I think is going to take a pot shot at you, Tony. Mm. Bastard. The others might not be seen yet, but uh, I think okay. the first thing he's going to do is shoot at you. Mm -hmm. And he rolls four times. Yeah, I'm suspecting this is the point where noise happens. 
Mm. So our, our infiltration effort is probably... <laughs> this is where we go into assault mode. Oh, dear. Um, okay, I'm going to give you extra damage there because I'm not a meanie, but uh, you might also want to roll um, on your armour if you have some. I do. His damage is a Vulcan Carbine. One of you has got a Vulcan Carbine. How much does that do? It's three. three. Three damage, a crit of two. Okay, yeah, um, so five damage is what you'll take. Ouch. Uh, my armour does nothing, I'm afraid. Shit. There you go, then. Five damage. Okay, one more of those. Good solid hit. That is a very good solid hit. That really smart. It's quite a bit. And you can now see that through the cracks in the wall here, there was a guard on duty, um, and uh, he spotted you. Um, more initiative, I think, boys and girls. So, Havima. No, you're not being a gunner. Sorry, I've got I'm some not, crew cards here. I'm not gunning. No. Havima, you are on sixes. Oh, okay. Uh, We're swapping around. I thought we already did our... Oh, this is a different initiative. Yeah, that was a different combat that... Um, Aha, uh -huh. right, yeah. Tony, you are on fives. Five. Dave, you are on four. Any bonuses on your weapons, obviously, factor them up. And he is, luckily for you, on one. So is he on, in cover, then? Is he He's kind of behind for, cover, yes, with his hole in the wall. Caps in the wall. Yeah. So how I'll far away am I? Two extra dice worth of cover on his already pretty good armour. Right. So does that effectively give him more dice of, of armour? being in Of armour, yes. <clears throat> okay, so how close am I? Am I nearby some... Because it looks like there's some rocks and stuff outside. Yeah, you were coming up here some, and there were these rocks here. I think he probably shot you as you were uh, sneaking rather noisily through that bush. Mm. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is just get into some cover there. Mm -hmm. So apart That's from him your being... Action behind some cover is he behind like one of the boulders or the walls there yeah he's behind he the ruins of this in, wall here so this is, is all cracked in and... the building by the asterisk yes so uh would i be able to get to him on foot or do i have to use a ranged weapon i think you are going to let me just zoom in on this mm. i think there are cracks in this wall but it's not going to be easy to get through not not people sized cracks cool i shall pull out my accelerator pistol for my yeah turn. i think so and also that's um it's it's kind of upper level as well right yeah lots of stairs great um sweet well i have an accelerator pistol mm -hmm. um but i have no range combat so my agility is three mm -hmm. Plus one for the bonus of the weapon. Uh, I'm going to take a shot. I get nothing. I am not going to push. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to leave the ranged weapon weaponry to the experts. So I take a pot shot and I go for cover. Okay. So it wasn't, it wasn't aimed. Um. Uh. Dave. So did you say this is on an upper level, a higher level yes. from us? It's, uh, so uh, th you got one level to get up here. This is actually a little bit okay. of a changing. So, can't yeah. see your cursor, Matthew. Oh, sorry, wrong, that, wrong map, that, that, wrong that, version that, of the map. That first this, is, this, is this and this are all on one level. That's on a, a far, that's sort of on the second floor, but you go up onto that second floor to get and then down here so this right, is actually okay. pretty much on the same level as that okay so if i wanted to get to hand-to-hand -hand combat i'd have to climb up the wall to get to him well and also i don't think you can really get the walls the, the not big enough the crack. cracks in the walls you have to go around particularly right okay cracks. um we did not think this through 
Uh, okay, I I I'm gonna drop my carbine, unhitch my r sniper rifle, and take a shot. If I can do all okay, that. Okay, that's gonna be take a quick shot this time. So is it one action to take my rifle? It's out? your long action to change weapons. I'm saying. And then it has to or be a quick two, shot. two two action points to change weapons. Right, okay. But that okay, fine. Um I'll still give it a go. It gives me six dice. Because a quick shot's minus two, isn't it? A quick shot's minus two, yeah. So Why the... the rifle that much better? Um It's got a better crit on it. Right, okay. Um, if you hit. Do that. That's the action you've taken. Come on. Can we come? Yeah, okay. Well, no, that's fine. Roll your think dice. halfway through. Just, just roll. Okay, right. I'm just going to show you this. <laughs> what does that Four say? Four sixes. Four sixes. Okay. I Six believe dice. you. I would believe you. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I wouldn't believe myself sometimes. Is the <laughs> okay. So how much damage do you do? So the so I'm going to use two of those, which will do four damage in total. Mm -hmm. And then the other two, I'm going to save for crits. Uh, all that damage goes through, and uh, you're going to do two crits. Yeah. Uh, black first. That's thirty-four and sixty-four. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, through his neck again. You're really good at that. Um, uh, through his neck, and it rips off one ear. Um, blood spurting everywhere, so he still doesn't get to raise the alarm. He is down and unconscious, and with the blood pumping out of him, he will die in three minutes. Oh, so okay. three minutes for that one, but three hours for the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. His blood spurting no. out of him like a fountain, whereas so the other guy it went through his neck. Yeah, this is an aorta hit. This one, so yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Not good. Okay, cool. However, even though he didn't get to react on ones, an alarm is raised. You can hear shouting. Okay, I am changing back to my carbine now. I think I okay. might need full auto at some point. What are you guys doing? Uh, should we take this? So now we come over here, we, we, we don't think there's going to be any way for us to get in uh, in this corner where the scar was shooting. Uh, no, I guess not. So I'm not, not, not a window we could scale to because, you know, my dexterity is not bad. Well, you could probably climb up there, yes. Um uh, come on, it did say something specifically about windows when I read the description last time. My dexterity is not great. If we do have to climb somewhere, I'm probably falling off. Did did anybody get some hyper rope from the last time we were in civilization? Rations I... and explorers packs and equipment. And uh, wasn't wasn't that your job, Havima? General dungeon <laughs> building. We did have some rope for the last scenario when we were coming through. Hmm. I think we've got a length of rope somewhere. But is climbing up here a good idea when there's going to be people running around trying to find us? Do we just Probably not, because then push the, push the, while, we're, while we're climbing, we'll be sitting ducks, wouldn't we? So yeah. Might not be the best plan. Fair. All right. Well, let's see what he says about Windows. But No, so this is... Um, uh, looking at it more closely, you can see that Yes, this wall is a bit ruined, but it's been reinforced with um, kind of dura steel, and you're now realizing that actually it's a kind of watch point. It's a uh -huh. watchtower. Well, uh, then, let's see. <clears throat> <what it> is. <laughs> um, sweet. Yeah, let's head over to three on the map, I guess. Okay. Right. Carefully, like, you know, that, that wall corner just on the right hand side so that we can kind of get a peek in on yeah uh yeah if we kind of, okay 
hug that inside wall. I'm as keeping. I'm keeping the initiative as is uh, because you are not out of combat. But you make your. You hear shouts from within this wing. You make your way up these stairs. Yeah. And who is peeking around the corner? Moi, I'm on the higher initiative, and I need to be close for my awesome yeah. melee. Yeah, and if okay. somebody looks, looks at me in a funny way, I'm going to be going down. So, mm. yeah, uh, there Q, is a crack of a pistol. Uh, I'm going to roll this, I guess. Uh, sorry, crack of a carbine. I mean, um, um, that's one success. I'm not going to push it. Uh, roll your armor, Havima, and add two for the corner of the wall that you are peeking around i get one success okay so um a bit of grit flies it, it, it thuds into the wall on the corner that you are peeking around and let me just see Vulcan carbine mm. Where's Vulcan Carbine? That does three damage. Um, take two damage from Shrapnel. Oh. Oh, okay. So did uh, that gunshot come from the entrance there at the top of the stairs? That... Just around here. Right. <clears throat> that breaks me. You may now be twigging that the Asterixes oh. are where guards are. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is that okay. Havima is down? Is that with that? Can yeah. you fall backwards, Havima, so we can treat you with that? Have you, have you got two points of damage, Havima? I had three from me from a previous session, but because you can't, like, M doses don't heal you unless you're broken. No, yeah. And so we haven't really taken time for me to recover any. Just points. remind me of where you got injured in the last session. Um, it was, I've actually been sat with it for some time, so it wasn't even last session. If it wasn't, then take those points back because oh, you've okay. been resting on the boat through a good chunk of the, um, the session before. Okay. Oh no, I remember it was you climbing up the terraces. Oh, technically oh. you haven't really rested. All right, but I'll no. give you I'll give you a point back anyway. Take a point back oh. anyway. Thanks. <laughs> is that enough to keep you up? Yes. Yes, it is. For now. Yes. <laughs> it's good. For How now. many M doses have you got, Tone? I've got five. Five blessed M doses. Because actually, that might not have been a bad thing. You going down at that point? If I could kill the guy, you can then bring Havima back up to a lot more points than one. Yeah. But hopefully, we'll okay. get. I mean, it seems likely at least one of us is going to go down at some point. So yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll so get, I have to get an opportunity to. I was then, in essence, I mean, you can't see me clicking on this, but at the top of the stairs, the first set of stairs to the right, um, <clears throat> just on the um, inside of of that um, balcony, I suppose. But the map's been removed, so... Uh, so, uh, where are you going? Uh, let me show you the map again. Oh, um, okay. We're focusing on... Oh, no, we're focusing on the map. That's I was probably... focusing on you, but... <laughs> uh, so, up the stairs to the right, on the left-hand yeah. side, and then I'm guessing... My initial idea was to be right... So, just slightly to the right of where your cursor is. Just so, here? Yeah, but yeah, that's where I was initially thinking. But if the guard is there, they may have got me when I came up. So the, the guards, yeah. That as soon as you peeked around, yeah, it up shot there. At you. Yeah. So, did you see how many so were that's there? That's where you are. Yeah. Can we go around the bottom of the up the other stairs and flank them? That would take an action or two. So, Tone, did you want to swap your initiative with me because you're on five, aren't you? Yes. What do you or, want? I, or alternatively, actually, you don't need to do that. If you and Havima want to go go around that way i'll engage him from the top here and if i don't kill him you can jump him from behind 
Okay, okay so do, Tony, do what he's suggesting is you go down the steps here. Yeah, it will correct. take um, a round uh, and make a movement uh, uh, or an agility. Oh, what's Dexterity. it in this game? Dexterity. Dexterity roll. Dexterity or is it infiltration? Oh. Uh, well, at this point, I think mm. you're not worrying about sneaking. <clears throat> which which would you know. prefer, though? Hang on. Has Havima got Medic Hergy, John? I do. Okay, because we don't want you to get down, Yakub. So it might even be better if you just stayed in cover for the moment. Come on, there's a I'll lot of discussion here for a, I'll for a high okay, action well, I'll, sequence. I'll stay where I'm in cover then for now. You have a, you have a go at him, Oshin, and we'll see. Okay. There's only one and you can take him down. Then, then uh, I'll stay here, but otherwise. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So if it's my action then, Matthew... Yeah. Can I can I aim and then shoot him? Uh yeah, he's taken his sort of action on um uh uh you know on, on Overwatch as it were. So you you can you to aim though, you'll only get one point of cover from this corner if you're using it, because you've got to get your rifle yeah. out on the long shot. That's, so, that's fine. I'd rather have the extra dice. Okay. Is it four plus one plus two plus two? Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay, I've got no successes that time, so I am going to push, Matt. Okay, I will take a darkness point. Yeah. Add it to the pool. And I've lost a dice, but I'll roll another one for now. <laughs> so I gained, I gained two successes that time. Okay. Um, so that's going to be a total of four damage because the crit for the carbine is two. So I can't Three crit. damage. Four in total. Uh, oh, right. So, uh, but no, he, uh, three damage get through because he right. got a six on his armor. Uh, so he takes three damage. Um, and then he takes a shot at you. Hmm. So look, 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 there's only one there. And uh, that does three damage unless you um, Ouch. want to okay. roll armor and get an extra point I, of armor for your um, yeah, for your position for the for the cover. Yeah. Okay. So I mitigate one of those. So I take two. Yeah. Okay. Can't take too many of those. Okay. It's Havima's action on sixes. Yes. Um. Okay. Uh. Avima, do, I, do, I, do I want to remind you of your um power? Yes. Uh, I was power. thinking my power. Uh. Now I think actually. Yeah, that's something that can that can do. Okay, so right, setting the scene. Uh, run up the stairs. Uh, crack shot happens. Boom! Ah, yep. ah, I'm I'm not like Havima's a bit shook. Um, mm -hmm. And with with that, now there's uh, a bit of a rumbling and some loose debris and stuff seems to kind of lift up off the ground. So uh, there's plenty of this. All sorts please, of crap. Please, uh, I think it's uh, a darkness point for this mystic. I power believe it is for that mystic power. It's being being awoken, and this this debris just kind of rumbles up off the ground, and um, kind of starts spinning around Havima, and uh, he is running in like he's just like screw it, All right. Uh, he's going to close the gap and he's going to uh, turn on his um, fancy lightsaber hand fan and take uh, a few slashes at... Okay, first of all, you can make your mystic powers roll. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, that is... Mystic powers is six... Uh, that is two successes. Two successes. So you get six points of armor from your 
uh, from this whirlwind of crap around you. Is that uh, on top of my protective clothing? or is Well, that... yes, and your protective clothing, of course, gives you whatever armor that, uh, that gives so you. So I'm now on So nine. you're now making an armor roll of nine against any shots. Excellent. Nice. Nice. Excellent, excellent. And so, yeah, um, Havim is going to close the distance and he's going to attack with his hand fan. Okay. Which... Before that attack, I just want yes. to make a roll because there is another guard you haven't seen yet. Of course. Who is, uh, in Overwatch. Gets two successes. That would be four points of damage. Ooh. Let's see how your armor works. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Uh, how many points of damage? Uh, I said four points of damage. Oh, okay. Well, I, <laughs> I I removed one point of damage. So he goes down in... Uh, Havima is broken and all the fancy swirly bits of debris just kind of collapse, <laughs> hit the ground. Um, that's, okay. that's the, when Havima ran forward, did I see where the gunshot came from that got him? Yeah, you saw a, a gunshot. Uh, Havima walked past this entrance and then got slammed by the force of um, the the shot into this wall here. So you're assuming the gunshot is from somewhere up yeah. in this room. Okay. Havima! Okay. <clears throat> This guy I only met the other day. <laughs> but it's been quite helpful <laughs> to us. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's your action tone, I think, isn't it? If only we your could use the force to pull him back. I mean, it's a hell of a way to go out, really, isn't it? <laughs> it did look good. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go down. I'm going to have to go around, I think, to the other. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go down the stairs and along the bottom to head for the other side. Sneakily or fast? What's your what's I'm going to try going sneakily because I don't want to get a shot. I, I'm not going to make you make a roll then, uh, but it will take uh, the rest, another action before you're okay. there. Uh, so, Dave. Um, I'm going to aim and shoot this guy again. Okay. Uh, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. <clears throat> <sighs> I got one success. Point, Dave? I think we probably need them right now. Yeah, take a darkness point, Matthew. That's okay. I'm saving uh, them up for later. Lady well, of Tears. I say later. Me. I mean, it may be help that. Help later me send this session. man to the abyss. Oh, or fuck you. Okay. <laughs> I got one success. That's three damage. From the, from Just the as well I'm not putting this one on public radio. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> you did three damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, how strong is this guy? Actually. Oh, it's still, still up. Okay. Um, he takes a moment to say, Halt. You're outnumbered and under arrest. D does Put it down sound... your weapons. Um, I'm going to shoot him again then. Under arrest doesn't sound like such a bad idea. <laughs> okay. Matt, can I just shoot uh, him again? Uh, no, you, not yet. You took an okay. aim shot, didn't you? Okay. So, uh, Tony, at the point, you see this guy on his knee with a uh, Vulcan carbine pointing at your mate over there, shouting at him. He hasn't noticed you coming up the stairs up here. Oh, so uh, I'm doing all of this. Um, you are. You're doing on the wrong map. map again, yeah. <clears throat> so you're coming up the stairs up here. Yep, you see yep. this guy as you near the top of the stairs on one knee, kind of taking an overwatch position against this guy over here, 
who is your mate, um, Ossian, who you can't see at the moment. He is shouting at Ossian to put down his weapons. I am going to shoot him in the back. I'll give you one extra for that since you're shooting him from the side, but he's uh, not particularly noticing you. Right. Oh, and a uh, range should... modifier. There should be a range modifier, shouldn't there? Well, if he gets really close, shouldn't it be plus three? If the guy's unaware of him. Uh, he's not that close. He's not point blank. Maybe okay. it's plus two. I'll give you though. And you can aim as well, Tony, if um, you want. Might as well. This gives me a significant number of dice. Once we roll no sixes on this lot. Okay, I get two successes. Which doesn't give me a... Just four damage, but not, <clears throat> not a crit. I think I... I was probably going to push, I think. Going to push. Take Can I say back. that four damage would take him out? Because he's had two shots from Dave beforehand. Okay. In that case... Well, he's got armor. And I'll save myself a darkness point. It's just that I honestly don't want to have too many darkness points on the ship that's going to come down later. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds bad. Okay, so uh, two successes, which would be four oh. damage. Although, if you want to pray, of course, I have got to roll his armor. He'll probably roll two successes now, or four yeah. points. Okay, no, I'll, I'll stick with I'll stick with that. Okay, four points of damage goes straight through, and he goes down. But obviously, um, he is only broken; he's not unconscious. But he's out of the fight, though, isn't he? So. <clears throat> mm. Okay. Um. I'm as I see that I'm gonna. Make a dash for the corner. Um, for um, let me just get back to my proper map for this corner here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I'm and I'm gonna as just as I get there, I'm gonna roll a concussion grenade into the room, and take good cover choice. Behind, and take cover behind the pillar. Okay. Uh, take cover behind here or here. No, I'll stay there. I'll stay there. Okay. Gotcha. So when you said pillar, I thought you were doing some yeah. fancy rolling no. uh, okay that would have been better in terms of matrix style fighting but never mind okay you roll your yeah. you roll your concussion game take a range combat roll no bonus for that yeah okay i gain one success there yeah that's fun i'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that i think i'm not going to push that one Right, I'm just trying to find the damage of a concussion grenade. Okay, Matthew, concussion grenade is blast power of six. Damage one, crit two. Okay, so I believe that we said... Well, you're kind of rolling, you don't know where he is actually, so you're not aiming at him. So I'm going to roll those... Um... Oh, that's nice. Um, no, well, no, not not nice enough, sadly. Okay, yes, the grenade has gone off. Damage has been dealt. Do I hear any kind of reaction, any grunt or shout? Or... You did hear a cry, yes, in that explosion. Although the explosion was quite loud, so I'm not sure you would have done. Or I hear someone go, grenade, or something before. Yeah. So did I hear more than one voice, I guess, is the point I'm getting at. Uh, make an observation roll, please, Dave. Okay. Does this count as a surprise attack? <laughs> no. <laughs> you, know, you have to ask, don't you? I mean, come on. <laughs> um, uh, oh, okay. actually, I'll go on. I'm going to be generous. Given okay. that they're kind of waiting to ambush you, yes, yes, it does. Ah, the, the use of they kind of implies something. <laughs> <laughs> I get Whoops. two successes. They, I'm, pe I'm being in a purely non-sexist <laughs> mode of address here. I'm not presuming as to their gender or presence. How many are there? Are. Yeah, okay. Um, I got two successes with my, okay. with my extra dice. Let me just make sure I've got my facts right here. But I think you will find... Uh, I think you will find... <clears throat> Hmm. 
you you will find there is a second one yes and you've heard two voices you think and were they kind of roughly in the same area did it sound like they were close together no ah okay and indeed this is a named character so i'm rolling and i'm drawing an extra card for this one okay So, a moment of silence. You are next to a groaning but still alive and conscious Havima. Havima is here, you're here. Tony, I'm assuming you've kind of taken this guy's position after shooting him? Yeah, so I'll kind of get him against the wall there so I can kind of peek around into the big area to the north. Okay, do you want a peek round? I think I probably do. I'm just what? going to stop showing that for a moment and <laughs> I believe share. Uh, oh no, hold on. There was there was a, a diamond and a star shape as well as the asterisks, but there was also uh, something <laughs> that had a lot more points on it than the star or the asterisks. So I'm not sure where th what that is supposed to be. Doesn't sound good, does it? Whatever. I'm Whatever. going to share this picture. And so you catch a glimpse of somebody in far fancier armor, the fanciest armor I think oh. you've ever seen anybody wear. Mm. It's one of Apophis's Jafar. Is that a Zelosian armor specifically? It looks very Zelosian, yes. It seems to have a Zelosian glyphs, the same sort of um, images and symbols that their spaceships are covered in, um, forged into the armor as well. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back to that map though. And whereabouts so, are they? <clears throat> uh, well, you caught them uh, uh, over this part. Okay, wrong map. The, map. Um, Can't see your cursor. Oh, uh, where's it? Actually, I haven't got that map. Where's that one? Which window is it? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is where. Okay, you saw them kind of over here. Briefly, we only peeked around for a moment. And did I see anyone else, any other guards around? Uh, yes, uh, there was a chap over here. <clears throat> okay. Um, is it my action now, Matt? Uh, well, it's Havima's action, but Havima's <laughs> broken. Yeah. Um, and I guess actually it will be that the other chap's action because he was on a six. Let me just have a quick look at what he's thinking of doing. Let me just have a think about his motivations for a moment. Uh, I think he will make a speech and he cries out and his voice is amplified by his armor. Heretics, you will be burned in the holy light of the holy light. Uh, we are the warriors <laughs> of the holy light, he says, and the holy light will burn you to ashes. Give up now and surrender your weapons. You cannot possibly defeat us. Well, that thing about burning, you know, in the ashes, that doesn't sound that appealing as, a, <laughs> no. as an option for surrendering. Do we, are we... Right, uh, Dave, it's your turn. Um, I'm going to step out around the corner, um, uh, looking in the direction where I heard the voice, and I'm opening up on him on full auto. 
<laughs> okay, the old full auto versus armor thing. Yeah, well, right. that to be done. Okay, Bruce, Bruce uh, the do that Bruce thing then, the mate. Full auto. Yeah. Okay, so my first shot is, and I will just get the dice that I need together for okay. the, uh, his armor. Fair enough. Armor. So I've got two there successes for the original those shot dice in there. <laughs> um, Matthew, I'm going to push my original shot. Yeah. I've I've got two successes already, but I feel like I'm going to need a lot of successes. Okay, I've got a third success there, and then now I'm onto my onto my um, um know, my, my not rolling ones. Board. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's a four. It's a four. Here we go. This is the fun bit, viewers. Just stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Six. Okay, so that's four successes. Uh, two. 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 Six. It's five successes. Five successes. That's a one. That's my first one. Two. Three. Six. Six successes. Five, two, five, three, four. I'll try and speed up. Four, six, seven successes. Three, one. So I got seven successes. Okay. You rain down um, uh, bullets upon him. Um, does that mean you're now out? Is your um? I'm going to spend a darkness point. Yeah, your. Uh, Probably does. I'm not sure what the rules actually say, but it does feel kind of. Well, I'll spend a darkest yeah. point anyway. Just feel narratively you know, appropriate. Bask in my with. generosity. Uh, you've got seven successes. How much? And that's a Vulcan carbine, mm -hmm. so that's three damage. So three. How many That's's do you want to spend on crits, and how much do you want to spend on damage? Three, four, five, six. So I'm I'm gonna. So I need two dice for a crit, and I'm gonna spend five on damage. So that'll be three. That'll be seven points of damage and one crit. Okay. Seven points of damage, uh, most of which get through his armour. Excellent. Let me just check his armour. Give me a moment. On, uh, on John's on John's comment. Tell, tell you what, tell you what, uh, I'm just going to read how this armor works. So that that's how the armor works in its physical form, but um, you notice that it seems to um, uh, has a, a spiritual form as well, does it? But, uh, well, yeah, it, 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 the glyphs almost seem to be moving across it, and. Um, your first three points of damage just uh, get um, get absorbed by the armor, you think. Um, and then uh, a fourth point. So that's uh, four, five points of damage get absorbed by the armor. So actually... You only do three, but that's still enough for your crit to happen. Okay, come on then. Uh, read the black dice first. You You're disappointed that? by that, I can tell. I'm not. 65 is 65. my crit. 65 again! 64 it was last <laughs> like. I'm just showing you the dice, because again, I, I'm i rolling very, very well, and I don't want to be accused of being a cheat. <laughs> ha! He shouts. This is the power of the Holy. <laughs> 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 um, I'm just going to come back to uh, how do I? I want to. I find it um. difficult to work out how to swap my screen shares. There must be an easier way of doing it here. Um, so here's this arbor here. Um, it's remarkably tough. It absorbs the first hit in any combat, whatever you score against it. Uh, and then it absorbed a bunch more because I spent an extra darkness point. Uh, 
and then one bullet went through this surprisingly obvious weak point here and straight into his heart. <laughs> <coughs> it's like it's like the um, the exhaust port on the Death Star, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just the use port. the force, <laughs> Oshan. Uh, did I actually spend that? I think I took a dice away rather than a darkness point. But anyway, uh, there we go. I've got plenty of darkness points if I've done that. Um, um, can I, I, as I see this happening and he falls, can I shout surrender to the others? Well, I'm just going to take a moment to um, see how they will react because he was very much the driving force of this. You have to love full auto in this game if you've got a good few dice. Well, I, I do have um, high capacity and I have the machine gunner talent, so I've kind of maxed out on full auto. Wow. So, oh, actually, it might even be that I have to roll one three times rather than twice before it finishes. I've missed well, keep Going to keep pumping bullets into his twitching dead body. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Until the clip is empty, exactly. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, um, this... Uh, hold on, let's go back to the other map. So, so I think I did actually do that... I did actually do that wrong, because I think I should have had a third one before I stopped rolling. Mm. Okay. Just Well, you killed him anyway. Those, I know, just for those watching. Despite so, his magical so. armour. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's go back here. So... Um, I've got a nice picture of the darkness cam at the moment, Matt. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It does look very good, though, I have to say. <laughs> uh, so uh, the guard that was here Can runs up these there. steps. Answer your cursor. Oh, your God, cursor. the guard that was... Uh, the one who, who was near the grenade. The one, Yeah. Yeah. He so. runs up these big steps here and out that way. And there doesn't seem to be anybody else shooting at you. Although I'm going to spend two darkness points. Um, as soon as I can, I'm getting back behind the wall and I'm reloading. This Sorry, guy no. shoots at you. He's down. Which guy? Already. Oh, yeah, he's down. But there's a thing you've got to learn about these warriors uh, of the Holy uh, Light. So <laughs> the so, guy that, um, uh, uh, that Dave... Uh, that Tony took out is going to take a pot shot at you, Dave. Okay. So the Have guy I... that ran up the stairs was that the diamond or was that the that one there? Yeah. Okay. That's that one that there, I think. Yeah. So the diamond was the boss man, boss man. No, not necessarily. No. Okay. Um, I think that I think to be honest. This chap was the boss man. Okay. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, fine words from the GM. You don't, you don't know if he had a separate symbol. Okay. Um, and I mean, just I'm just trying to see what this guy is going to do with his melee combat. No, not melee combat. Range combat three. Agility <clears throat> four. Um. He misses. <clears throat> had, I, had I managed oh, uh, to reload by then? Uh, sorry? Oh, sorry, Tony. Sorry, go on, uh, No, it's, uh, it's Tony's go, I think. Yeah, I'm going to turn around and shoot him again, then, if he's... Okay, but, go ahead. Shooting. <laughs> uh, can I aim? We've got time? Uh, I don't think I, th I think for this one, no. I think you've got to. Okay. This, is, this is not about an aim shot. You could, no, maybe have it is. Go on, do an aim shot. Go ahead. I Otherwise, don't care. you could have three quick shots, couldn't you? Otherwise. Okay, even aiming. I still need to get one success. Dice point, mate? Mm. You have a dart this because I do want to just blow this fucker away. Okay, that's better. That is considerably better. <laughs> and how much more damage do you do? 
Okay, so I get six successes now. Oh, wow. So the uh, first one does three year damage. It's <clears throat> crit of two. Okay. So if I do four damage, I can then do two crits, I think. He, he'll be down and roll your two crits. Okay, I shall roll black first. Get 62. Oh, 42. Okay. Right, well, 62 is likely to be a deadly one. And he's not going to get up from that. Uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> he's unconscious, bleeding out his leg, uh, which is permanently <laughs> lost. He will die, definitely, this time in a minute. Again, you've gone for that main arm. <clears throat> Right, you have a moment's respite. Uh, okay, can I hang on before you do that? As soon as I'm, as I'm reloading, Matthew, I'm going to walk over towards the guy I've just put down with my rifle yeah. trained on him, and I'm going <laughs> to make sure he is dead. <laughs> Wait, what? He's dead. He, he, you, you did shoot him through the heart. This one. There's no. It's only when they're broken. Time. Right. Okay. Um, That's twice you have stood up after I've killed them. Shot me. <laughs> Help. Yeah, I'm good. That's yeah. my next thing. Is to run over to Havima and have a look. Uh, All right, whereabouts is he? Um, before I treat him, if I can, I'm going to drag him. Just right of, just right of three. He's about here. So if you want a bit of cover, you yeah, can move from here. Fight. Or given that you last saw a soldier going up this way, you can move him up there. Yeah, I think I will. I'll um, go to the right. Tony, uh, sorry, no, you're doing that. Dave, as you, um, this is I'm a lot more open, this bit of the building. Yeah. So uh, you, you can, you know, you see this wide staircase down here into what used to be some fancy gardens and then really broken walls down here. This is more solid on this side, but again, wide staircase down underneath it um yeah the these staircases are open on this side as well okay i'm gonna i'm gonna keep, a, keep keep an eye open for any enemy movement at all and try and get myself in a bit of cover whilst tony um works on havima whilst, well, okay, whilst tony he... where are you gonna drag havima to before queuing him yeah where are you Just... gonna drag him to just uh where here north northeast of where your cursor currently is up against that wall yeah just in yeah. behind that wall. so we're kind of in cover that okay where i'd been standing before i shot the guy okay and you are doing a medical role Medikurgy? i'm doing medicurgy for which i get six dice i'll use one of my blessed m doses which gives me another two wonderful And an M dose gives you some bonus in its own right anyway, doesn't it? Well, yeah, I don't know whether a blessed M dose gives you plus two on top of what it normally gets, or that's its total. An M dose has a bonus of, a regular M dose has a bonus of one. So I think so the. Right, okay, so the blessed dose is plus two. Plus one, yeah. So plus two. Oh, oh, that's all right. I'll take that. Three successes. Three successes. Um, so that restores three hit points, I think. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. You get up that. immediately, regaining hit points equal to the number of sixes on your medicated girl. All right. I feel much better. Thank you. Good. <laughs> right. Okay. Regroup. Or where are you going? Can I can I search this bloke that I shot and see what I mean? What is this room being used for? And search the, the guy who's the leader. The leader guy. Well, yeah. Okay. If if Dave if Dave looks at the man in his fancy Jafar armor, um, I'll get up and have a look around at what what this room is being used for what are those chairs and computers and stuff like that yeah um, i'm going to just keep watching up those stairs to the east okay what, what 
Like what, do, what, what does six, seven, and eight mean on the legend? <laughs> <laughs> and we might want to check four just to right. be safe. Though. Yeah. Okay. Six is a water-filled elevator shaft. Oh, okay. Um, water-filled. Seven is um, chests of neodym. Now I don't know whether you were around Avima, but neodym seem to be the currency with which a transport operative in uh, Bay Basin was um, being paid. It has yeah, quite a high it. value to it. Okay. And um, uh, uh, you also notice cowering uh, behind under this sorry you notice cowering under this desk a an individual who is not um an armored up um holy warrior but a kind of clerical mm -hmm. person uh and he says i surrender i surrender as soon as you find him um, um excellent i shall ask him some very quick fire pertinent questions um whilst everything else is going on um who are you what are you doing here and why shouldn't we hurt you for what you've done <laughs> good question I like, I like the last question yeah definitely uh uh i i i'm i'm just a technician i'm i was uh, using the um uh the uh and i'll just work out where it's pointing it um I was, uh, I've been using the, and he points um, to some of this device here, um, uh, and you re you recognise it as the counterpart of the um, laser communicator that you saw in the other place. So you recognise this must be pointing back to the um, uh, uh -huh. to the palace where you'd first entered. I, I I just operate this. I do all the communications for the team. Uh, please, by 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 the judge, don't don't shoot me. Um, I'm I, I I'm an innocent in all this. I, I'm just factionary, uh, not factionary, a functionary. <laughs> <laughs> a factionary functionary. Well. Uh, uh, those other guys are nutters, he says. Just, 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 don't, just, uh, uh, it was only a salary to me. It's only a salary. I'm going to bind and gag him. Okay. And then. Um, what else are we noticing in this? Uh, yeah, that, that thing. I initially thought it was like a desk with two chairs but maybe it's not no that is a desk with two chairs this this bit oh, really? is the desk he you found him under oh, okay. um now he's pointing to um uh maybe this device here but you can see it right. and it's pointing back in the direction okay. um, that you were at before it might be in a slightly elevated position okay or it might so be eight, this eight, device eight, here i don't know what that is particularly is so where we see eight that's so just eight is just this room. room yeah um okay cool yeah no i'm gonna bind and gag him and i'll just say we'll be back we'll be back for you later okay uh dave you're looking at the uh this guy in this armor um yeah. this armor seems uh you you may be okay things you want to nick maybe are his thermal <laughs> carbine i'll nick that yep uh which is a gear bonus of two and a mercurium sword mm. uh but can if I, you can uh I... okay so i was just say, can i can I take his armor? Well, I thought you'd be wanting to do that. No, it seems to be bonded to him in a symbiotic way. I, I mean, he can take his helmet that. off and things like that, but um, yeah, okay, it doesn't do the thing his... it does. No, I might take his helmet simply as a souvenir. 
Okay. Did he have anything else on him that might nope. throw light on what he was doing? Um, it, he has all the prayer ephemera that you, you might expect and indeed have found on previous um, right. <clears throat> uh, previous previous thingy bobs. Right, okay. Um, um, guy, this Mercurium sword is no good to me because I'm rubbish at melee combat. Do either of you want it? I might take yeah. the thermal carbine though. Yeah, well, I'm I'll, rubbish I'll, at. Yeah, I'll, I'm rubbish at melee I'll combat as well. Really. Mercurium sword. Yeah, I, have, I mean, Havima, you're you seem to be the melee guy out of all of us. So, <laughs> what are the stats of that, Matthew? Um, we'll look them up after the game, okay. unless you need to use it. Oh, maybe I can quickly find it here. Unless I need to. Use. We probably need to move There's on. There's every chance you don't need it. So that's a yeah, gear bonus no. of plus two. Initiative bonus is zero. It does three damage and crits on two. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, we probably need to move on. We've only got like 15 minutes left, unless we're going to play over. Oh, bloody hell. I've... Well, let's see how we go. But how how willing are you guys to play over I'm rather than worried. drag this on for yet another can... week? It's no problem. Can... No problem for me. I could play over, yeah. Yeah. What about so you, Jonathan? Wanna... Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, do listeners, we, we are follow? playing long. <laughs> let's go long. Something our wives love to hear. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you should be. You should have been very. <laughs> the darkness cam has spoken in Millie's voice. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> should we go up following the guy who ran away? Or yes. First. <clears throat> yeah. Let's go that way. Okay. Or the other way. Let's let's. Where we know there's a threat, let's go and find that threat and deal with it. Okay. How are you going to tackle that then? So after all this noise, we haven't heard lots of other activity going on anywhere, have we? No, it's gone quite quiet. You did hear, probably as you went away, you heard some discussion. Is there anything on the guy that I shot to tell us either his title or his name? Make a culture roll to see if you can read the label on the inside of his helmet in Zelossia. <laughs> the label on his pants. <laughs> <laughs> can I help? Um, I can, I'll kind of look and help. Okay, I got one success anyway, but I'll take a point of help. No, one success. Okay, he is Priot Chabun. Priot Chabun. Okay, I I think as we're going up the stairs here, guys, we should be um, basically telling them that we've killed this guy and they should surrender. And I think, yeah, Cube, you should do it because you'll be more effective than me. I'll carry his helmet showing that showing what we've done. Because if we can avoid fighting anymore, that would be good. <clears throat> yep. Okay, so as we got the stairs then. So you've killed, let me just count this. One, two, three, four um, warriors of the Holy Light plus Priot Shabun, haven't you? I haven't yeah. missed any out. <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Um right so uh let's cut back to this map you head up this way yeah um obviously scanning make sure that if you know try and spot anyone if they're about to jump out on us okay make an observation roll please do i and get yes you can have your two extra dice thank you uh, um to... i'm going to activate the mercurium sword so that it's okay. actually a sword and not just a help <laughs> okay, I gained three successes on my observation, Matthew. Okay. Um, so you uh, come to this corner here 
and very carefully peek around, wary of somebody shooting at you, but nobody does. Uh, you think you can see um, uh, a guard about, can you see where my mark is here? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Waiting at that wall there. Can I, is it, can I see enough to get a shot at him? No, he's he's hidden, but you think maybe as you peeked around, he ducked back around the wall. So Do we have know. another concussion grenade? I thought there was more than one that was I've, picked I have a concussion grenade, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've used mine. Got but else. Do you want to try and get him to, to surrender first, or should we just grenade him? Well, because what you could do, if you wanted to walk up and do the shouting thing, I'll stand there on Overwatch with my sniper rifle, and if he pokes his head around the corner, I'll shoot him. Okay, then if we do that, then that, that might make it harder to convince the others around the corner that <laughs> true. if we say we won't shoot them. That's that's true. You could mm, up to you. We well, can, well, why not? Try, try shouting from cover, maybe. Mm. Yeah, because it's not very far away, is it? So I'll from I'll kind of stay in cover on the that kind of horizontal set of stairs and shout up to where that guard is and say, "Look, we've killed." Priot Chaboon, we've killed others of your colleagues. We don't want to kill anyone else. We don't need to kill anyone else. Just surrender. Show us what we want. And no one else needs to die. Make a manipulation roll, please. Minus uh, one, can, because you're outnumbered. Can, can, can you get can plus one for me showing the, showing the helmet? Yeah, toss the helmet out. Oh, toss, if you toss the helmet down those stairs, uh, yeah. yes, get plus one for that. Let's do that. So place them back where I started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice idea, John. I like throwing it down the stairs. Yeah. Okay. Old, uh, old Django fat, if only his head. Do you care about them. them surrendering, or did you, would you just shoot them? No, it just kind of... All right, take a darkness point then, Matthew. I'm holding these dice again. Okay. And I'm getting, oh, I'm getting one success. <sighs> one success versus... Mm, you hear a voice, a slightly nervous voice. Um, same voice you heard from this guy over here when he asked you to surrender um, and he says uh, I believe we still outnumber you and the warriors of the holy light in the truth of the pariah there is but one icon and one truth and you, with your many icons, are weak and will be defeated. May but I interject? You notice that he's not massively confident in the way he's saying that? Yes, may I interject and say, we were outnumbered uh, by an additional five only minutes ago. <laughs> Does that give Tony another role? Do you want to make him a manipulate? I can definitely do that. Go on then. Um, even with uh, my, even if I take one away, I'm still rolling seven, so I feel good. And that's one success. Should I push it? <laughs> I don't mind if you do. If we get them to surrender, no. then that's pretty good, I think. Matthew seems a little laggy. Yeah. I no no no. I'm, I'm am I laggy? A little bit, yeah. Can you hear me? A bit freezy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Your video is just not tracking. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, You're moving 
So, John, uh, are you going to push, are you gonna, are you gonna push it? Yeah, I will. Yeah, go for it. That's another success. Okay. Two so, well, take the next point. I'm sure we can negotiate a peaceful retreat. And then as soon as he says that, an argument starts happening. Mm. And you can hear again the modulated voices of people in armour disagreeing with him vehemently about that. <laughs> is, this, is this all coming right from the bottom of the stairs there? No. no well, there's okay. one person down here. Can't see oh, well, you may hear him. The person down behind this wall saying, never! We fight till we die! We can't see your cursor. We don't know which wall you mean, Matthew. Uh, okay. Well, the person... You only know the location of one of those people. That's what I told you earlier on. Down this here, what? this chap down yeah. here is saying, never, we will fight till we die. But yeah, right, the okay. voice that you heard shouting at you was from somewhere, somewhere in, in these wing. rooms. Somewhere in that wing. Okay. Can I, can I set, set my three set of charges and sling them to the bottom of the stairwell to blow off when they land? Make a technology roll to improvise a bomb in that way. Okay, that's six. Do I get to... Can I use my tools for this? Yes, you can. I mean, a satchel charge comes with a remote that you just trigger at your leisure, mm. don't you? Sorry. Yeah, I guess I'll turn it into an impact grenade. Let him have his fun. <laughs> well, I don't mind if they just go off when I want them to anyway. That was kind of the point. I got one success. Okay. you. Have, they will do whatever you want. You're going to lob them down there. Shall I? This guy yeah. is saying we'll fight. Okay, yeah. I'll lob it down there. To that Make corner. a ranged yeah. combat roll. Uh, six dice. Okay, I get two successes with that. That'll do. I won't push it. Okay, lands pretty much on target. Um, what did we decide those actual charges could do? Kill everyone nearby. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I didn't write it down. I just bear in mind, we, did, we worked out that... Important things. Uh, where were those actual charges from? That was... If you, if you go for frag grenade, it's blast six, damage to crit one. Now, that, I've got, actually got it when they try to murder you with them. Okay. I'm sure I can find it. Dorcasar's Palace, Criminal Royalty, the Assassin Strikes. Um, okay. So I am going to roll... Twelve dice for that. Oh, do you want me? Do you want to do the explosion? I'm happy for you to roll the mat. That's fine. Okay. Um, uh, since it was all three going off together, um, so that's seven points of damage. And do you want to roll? No, hold on. Let's not. Let's. That's six points of damage and. Roll Roll a crit. Okay. Uh, 43. 43. 43 is... Um, you hear... Uh, um, oh! uh, and a big explosion go off. You don't know whether he's dead or not. Do we hear a reaction from people? Like an, ah! <laughs> um, no, not particularly. Do we want to reiterate the desire for them to surrender, but our willingness to kill them all if we want to, if they won't, if they don't? Yes. Do you use all Let's three satchel charges or just one? No, I used all three. He used all three. There's, Otherwise, there's they have a blast of four. Yeah, one on its own just doesn't do anything. 
<laughs> okay, I'm going to shout out again. Look, we'd still rather not kill you. If you surrender now, you can live. If you get in our way, we will kill you. Um, you hear the slightly nervous voice saying, let me treat this man and then we can talk. Throw your weapons where we can see them. I am unarmed. Let me treat this man and then we can talk. Uh, I am going to make my way down the stairs with my okay. sword out. And I'm going... So it does it sound like he's going to treat the person, that, the 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 guard that was waiting around the corner for us? Uh, the, you can't hear any sound. Again, he seems to be shouting from one of these rooms here. Yeah, okay. So I'm I'm going to go down, sword at the ready, to swipe at the the man we think is around the corner. Okay. Um, and should we will carry on the conversation, saying if you throw your weapons out, we'll let you treat guy. You know, kind of as if we're not advancing. Try as, right. as cover. For you want to make an infiltration roll then to see whether you can surprise that man. Verily. Have one extra point since the others are helping you by distracting. Uh, two successes. Two successes. And um, let me just do his observation. Uh, okay. Uh, as you turn the corner, I think we have to draw initiatives. Oh. <clears throat> Very good. Uh so I'm drawing two cards here, and one is yours is six, lovely, and his is five. So you do get the jump on him. Excellent with my Mercurium sword. Mm. Um, da, 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 melee combat. So that's that. Um, come on. I've got one success, but I'm going to push it. <laughs> okay. And that's two more successes. Right. Uh, so the Mercurium sword does uh, three damage and three damage. Crit and two. Okay. Um, so you've got you've got two. You can do a crit and just three damage. If you want yeah. to, or you can do four damage. Uh, five yeah. damage, I mean. Okay. Uh, mm, mm, five damage. Okay. Um, you slash at him, and he falls. He was already quite badly injured from the uh, from the explosion, and he f crumples to the ground under your, um, your blast. You haven't actually, you know, cut into him, but... Uh, He's just given up. Um, and then just peeking round this doorway. Can't see you, can't see you. Can't uh, hold on, no, I'm just coming to it. This doorway here. Yeah. Uh, you you can see uh, the voice of, uh, well, I'll show you actually. Give me a moment. I think we'll advance to help Havima the minute we get the, yeah. the nod that he's put that guy down. Um, you get a nod. Yeah, you saw him do it and then uh, so you can walk down. Uh, again, this bloke's in cover. He's not coming out to talk to you, but he's uh, he's still shouting across to you. He says, um, but share screen. You see this guy with a tattooed face and he says people misunderstand the order of the pariah we are people of peace what is it you want here it may be that our uh, that nobody further has to die just tell us what you want i can guide you on the way 
somebody says you shouldn't be helping them but you can't see who that person is and then he says shh, shh. is that behind him in the same room that he's just come from yeah well okay, should we be in Ashton down there now yeah the slaves the slaves that you get delivered here where are they we don't get slaves delivered here slaves are part of the payment the, the people mystic, we bring the here mystics, the mystics that get delivered here where are they um where sorry is... i just forgotten where they are give me a moment <laughs> <laughs> They're in the other castle. I mean, the other one. <laughs> yeah, in the castle on the other side of the planet. Come back next uh, week for the final episode of... Um, uh, give me a moment. Uh, they're, they're in the other wing. I, I, I can, I can uh, tell you exactly where they are. Um, and he describes, and I will come and find the living thing again. Share screen. Uh, and what he describes is uh, oh, this is so inconvenient. Here, um, he, he, he says, you, you have to go down the staircase you um you just came up across the entrance hall down this way then at the bottom of the stairs turn to your left go all the way to the end of the wing you'll find them in here in that room there and in fact actually um yeah that may be the case well uh, you can come with us and show us the way and you who, can tell any guards we meet on the way not to attack us who is he treating uh, right now? He, he was saying he what he he's, no 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 no. He's that you're standing over the person that he was going to oh. treat. Oh okay. <laughs> um, but there's somebody else over here. He says, "No, trust me. It is better that I stay here. There are two heavily armed warriors of the Holy Light who who want nothing more to kill you than to kill you." If you if you want to take those mystics away, I believe I can keep the peace long enough for you to do that. But you must go on your own. How do you keep the peace if you stay here? I have There's some authority. So are you, are you saying that there are people here who want to kill us? In the room with you. He... <laughs> he says, I, I, I cannot divulge the location of my phone. is started talking again. Um, it's the darkness between the uh, I cannot divulge the location of the people that you... Um, Bluetooth ran out of battery, did it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it could be, could not it? <laughs> I think we're just going to have to turn off the darkness cam. Yeah. I'm going to turn the darkness cam off. Bye-bye, darkness cam. Bye-bye. That's a lot of darkness. <sighs> um, darkness cam has gone very dark. <laughs> um, Matthew, I'm going to hitch up the thermal carbine that I nicked off the other guy. Because that's, that's full auto, but even more effective. <laughs> okay. He said, uh, look, there's no... Um, uh, there's no need for more death here. I am uh, a prophet of the order. Um, I, if I stay with these guards, I am sure I can prevent them from attacking you for long enough to get the others away. What about the guards on the other side? <clears throat> um, let me give you their names, he says. Can you order them away? And, uh, no, let me give you my name, for it has more power than than theirs. I am Gadar e Abra. If you say that I sent you, then um, you know these have bloody come back to life. These uh, <laughs> we'll get the drop on them. 
uh, then no, then yes then then say that I come in peace and um, and they will uh, oh, bloody hell this one's talking mm. still even even after all the fighting that's been happening even after all the fighting that's been happening they they i i am a prophet of the order uh, they look to me for spiritual guidance tell them that i have sent you to fetch the uh the mystics and they will not stand in your way do we believe him can we have a observation or manipulation role or something i can or... i can judge of character him yeah yeah go for it go for it Tone. okay so uh I'm listening to him, trying to judge whether he's telling the truth or not. Have a darkness point, Matthew. Thank you. I will take that darkness point. I'll use my dark judge of character talent. So I can basically tell whether he's being truthful or not. Without having to make a roll. You don't think he's being truthful. However, uh, um, you think his lies are upon lies. So you don't know what he's not being truthful about. <laughs> but you think he is a practice liar okay should sorry should we just kill him yeah i think we should so believe it where the where he says i'm i i i'm i i would like to see havima try the uh material shield trick again okay um, spending a darkness point on that one make a make, make a, a mystic, mystic roll. Roll. And and then um, basically storm in with his sword again, uh, at which point it would be excellent if um, Dave can run in behind with uh, some full auto. I'll I go low, you just, go high. I'll shoot it's just gone for a wee. Uh, okay. Comes back. <laughs> okay. Anyway, the uh, material shield, I've got one success. Okay, do you want to push that? Yeah, go on then. I'll do that. I just love the way. I love the way you're building up your doom here. Indeed. That's <laughs> oh, God. We, yeah, well, let's, let's carry on. So um, three successes in total. Three successes in total. So that gives you four plus, five, plus six. two per extra success. Oh. So that is. Eight, Eight plus your normal armor. Love it. I should be full of armor, and I've got three point. I've got three hit points. <laughs> um, <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Um, I right. am going uh, given to given that negotiation. I am going to roll initiative. Oh, I'm going to draw initiative again. Uh, yeah. Um. And you are going on six. You can get a lot of sixes. I like uh, it. Uh, Tony, you are going on sixes again. Uh, Dave, I'm is on sixes again. Oh, we're all on six. Yeah, uh, which means that these guys are going to be going on threes. Okay. Okay. Um, so. Pardon me. Um, uh, you've done that. Uh, you've picked up this rubble from all around here. Is whizzing around you, uh, Tony. You've got to stay a little bit back. Yeah. Uh, you're going in. As you go in, you can see that on either side, that this priest fellow has been talking to you. He's standing about here, but behind the door here, there's another fully armoured up um, warrior of the Holy Light. Who are you attacking? Quick decision, I am, please. I am attacking the guard. Um, okay. So, for that guard to get through my armor, they have to make a through the material shield. They have to make an opposed force attack versus my armor rating. Um. So unless he shoots you. So, are you suggesting that you want to damage him with your? 
with your materia shield? Well, not so much damage, so that basically, if I'm kind of because like, the way I was going to run it is if you were attacking him with your sword, you enclose him within that, which yeah, generally so would, I was, would. I was basically I was going to um, if I if I'm closing that gap in any way, um, mm -hmm. uh, people attempt to force their way through shield, creating the shields slow action so there is no there is no thing it's just a force roll for them to kind of get through it i don't know that there it doesn't describe that there's any damage done um so yeah but I'm, you want to attack him so i yeah. suggesting so that you control going, that in a way sure. that you just absorb him within it for this attack sure, sure. but then you won't have the advantage of that armor because he'll be no. within it okay no. But you will um, have the advantage if the priest shoots you. Or the other person that was... Or the other guard. Hinted at, yes. Um, uh, so, yeah, Mercurium Sword. Yeah. Yeah, so do your melee combat first. Uh, I've got one I success. Maybe an approach roll. Okay. Uh, one success, but I'm pushing. <clears throat> that did nothing extra, which is a shame. Right, so one success. How much damage does your Mercurium Sword do? Oh, uh, The Mercurium Sword does three damage. I will also add, I have the defensive talent. Okay. So it does three damage. Um, he, recognising the situation, is dropping his uh, carbine and picking up a melee weapon or unsheathing a melee weapon. And his melee weapon is a dewa knife. But that's his actions this round. Tony. Or, um, well, yeah, all three of you. Uh, Tony in normal rounds you would go first okay so i'm following him into the room yeah uh so he's in combat with one of the yeah he's the now there's a swirling mass of gravel around here uh and you um well you can't see into it particularly uh you've got now cowering in this corner here uh, the priest fellow we saw earlier on. Um, that's pretty much all you can see. So there is, there's only the one guard and the priest, the prophet. Yeah. There isn't anyone else. Not in this room. Okay. Um, and presumably it's going to be quite difficult for me to shoot the guard thing because he's enveloped. Yes, that, the... he's now enclosed in a reclaiming shield, which should give him he eight extra bat. points of armour. Uh, so I think I'm not going to shoot the prophet guy yet. I'm just going to stand over him in Overwatch, basically saying, don't move. Okay. Dave. Can I hear the guard in the other room? It sounds like he's coming to help them. Nope. Do I know there's a guard in the other room? Right, as a player, probably. as a character, as, as a, a player, you there? definitely do because you can see this here. Yeah, I know. There. <laughs> but there, uh, there... I, I'm willing to willing to give you the idea that you know that there may well be a guard, at least in one of these other two rooms, who now appears to be staying silent or preparing an attack, um, or doing both those things. Indeed, silently preparing an attack. Do you need my help in the room, do you think? No, okay, I guess I can't think too much. Matthew, I'm going to I'm gonna slowly walk along the wall here. I, I can't, Down here. Can't see my <laughs> you can't see mine. I can't yeah. see your cursor. You can't see mine. Yeah. This um, is, you're walking along the wall. the wall here. Yeah. In Overwatch, using the yeah. thermal carbine, anybody steps out of that door first or any door further down, and I am frying them. Okay, 
so nothing as you approach nothing particularly happens yeah but i'll then, stop and wait um two things happen let's deal with this one first mm. uh a guy comes out here in armor with vulcan carbine um i can't see the person, Matt. comes out here can you okay, see my yeah, cursor I'm now 11. yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, with his Vulcan carbine and charges towards you, but you're in Overwatch, so you get your so, shot first. I'm going to full auto him. Mm. <laughs> is he in armor like the other guy that I killed before? Not, not like the pre-op. No, he's in the normal armor. Of the all the other guards. Right. Okay. I won't full auto him. Then I'll just blast him. Okay. So, um, the thermal carbine gives me plus one. So it's four, two, one. Okay. Uh, that gives me two successes, which for the thermal carbine is not a crit, but it is five points of damage. Five points of damage. Okay. Yeah, but no crit. Uh, four points of that get through his armor, but he's still standing and he will take a shot at you and uh i'm going to spend a darkness point because i've got too many for the next scene so that's <laughs> two positives um oh that's five successes so um okay he's he's kind of uh doing the equivalent of full auto on you um but i'm not going to do the full auto on that because that will kill you <laughs> but he's just blasting at you so that is oh god what's his weapon did i say vulcan carbine yeah uh, yes vulcan carbines. so it's three damage base for the carbine three damage plus um plus four seven damage that's quite painful okay i've got all your armor. armor seven damage okay Ooh. how many hit points have you got um well i'm i'm broken but i do have the lady of tears talent which allows me to get back up after being broken and restored to one hit point but i don't want him to know that i want to be down Okay, well, this you may have noticed that this is a tactic. Obviously, they don't have the Lady of Tears talent because they're the Order of the Pariah. <laughs> <laughs> but but they apparently have something very similar to the Lady of Tears talent. Yeah, and they never get they never carry on straight away. They go broken first. So uh, yeah, by all means, feel free to collapse. So I'm going down as if I'm out. Okay, should have gone full auto. Well, why did I, I, you know, I, you've, ah. you've learnt your lesson. But I'm on one hit point. Well, when I come back, I'm on one hit point. Um, right. Uh, and the other guy attacks you, um, Habima, with his Dewa knife. I just have to remember what his melee... <laughs> combat is that's four still yeah. so oh, put that dice uh he gets one hit uh, with his dura knife uh do you can... want to roll your armor yes not your I not can... your material shield no but um i have the defensive talent which uh evading close combat uh attacks you get a plus two to melee combat when defending all right do you want to defend against that then that would yes please yeah I you think I um no answer. you've already used both your actions this round so you can't defend i did okay you, well you've you used you did a mystic roll and then a move and then an attack oh okay so you've used all your all your actions this round uh that's one success well that's all you need uh no hold on 
um, Dual knife. Uh, one point gets through. Okay. But, uh, right, Tony, what are you doing? Oh, sorry, no, uh, yes. New round. Tony, what are you doing? Uh, I can I, I probably can't really hear what's happening outside the room, so I think I'm probably just keeping a watch over the... Um, I think you could hear there's a deal of gunfire outside the room. You probably hear me shouting, going, ah! <laughs> there's a whole bunch of da 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 on either direction. Okay, in that Gunfire's case... Gunfire's quite loud. <laughs> in that case, I'm going to say to Priyat Jameen, don't move a muscle, and I'm going to head for the door and peek round and see what's going on. Okay, well, when, is, when I say peek round, this is this is combat we're looking at. If you peek round, you're going to see a bloke charging towards you. Mm. Okay, so to move then, how much of an action is that and how much of an action have I got left? Well, you're, I, you're right I here. It would be one action, I guess, to change from your Overwatch into what finding out what's going around there. You've still got an attack, but it would be an unaimed shot if you want to shoot him. So if I will, yeah. So if I see the guy up with basically over what appears to be Oshun's dead body. I will shoot yeah. him. Broken, broken. I'm not dead yet. Broken, yeah. <laughs> appears it appears to be Oshun's dead body. Quite, yeah, quite okay, well. So yeah, I'll just shoot him. Guys, I think we're not going to finish this week. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on, keep oh, going. No. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Let's make the fight make the fights easy, Matthew. Yeah. Go on, Matthew. Right. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm pushing that. I get no successes oh, on that roll. So sorry. Have another darkness. Doesn't point. matter. We're, we're in the we're in it now, guys. <laughs> this but, this this your darkness cam's gone, but these darkness points. <laughs> Basically, I have to carry on until they're all gone. Uh, <laughs> Give me some time then. So I get two successes. So basically, that's four damage. Not enough for a crit. Four damage. I did, okay. I did five um, to him though. How much damage did you do on him? Actually, I forgot to write. I that did down, five. Dave. Okay. I did five. Um, uh, okay. Three get through, but um, uh, he uh, he gets stopped by that gunfire and collapses as well. So that's uh, you gone, Dave. Uh, you gone, Tony. Dave, do you want to do anything this round or stay down um, for another round? I was thinking, can I, if I stay down and Tony heals me, I'll get more hit points back. <laughs> well, only if I roll. Yes, one. that is true. Um, or do I need to do that straight away? Uh, I have. Now, I, I said I was going to use the talent. I think that's fair. I'll use the talent. I'm back on one hit point. Um, okay. I'm, can I hear any more noise down the corridor? Or do we think that might have been the last guard? No, it all seems to... Well, make an observation roll, you want to. Yeah. Uh, observation two. Okay. Um, I only get one success with that on lots of dice. Okay, you don't think there's anybody down here? Okay. Um, I'm going to come back to the door here then, um, see what's going on. But I'm also going to swap Stepping out. Stepping over this broken my... body down here. Oh, fuck, yeah. Um, oh, no, blam, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> well done! <laughs> <laughs> I'm hurting slowly, but I needed a needed a hint from the GM for God's sake. Didn't I? Oh sh yeah, I'm killing him. Good boy. I won't make you make <laughs> a roll for that. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> you're turning into such a nice GM these days. You know, you're sort of, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. What have you done with Matthew? <laughs> well, you know, if you hadn't done that, he would have come up and got shot back you. up again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, 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 okay, uh, Havima, what are you doing? I'm gonna continue. If you want to use your defensive this round, you can do a single yeah. uh, attack this round. 
So, yes, I will do a single attack this round with my Mercurium Sword. Okay, my and he new, will defend my against that. New fangled technology that it is. I got one success. I'm going to push. That's two successes. Okay, he parries your Mercurium Sword with his Jewel Knife. Oh, fancy. Um,. Okay. Um, then this, that's then, kind of it. If I'm going that, to leave it. an action for... Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave an action for uh, uh, defending as well. His hands. Well, let's go straight to him again. He parries and counterattacks, uh, getting two successes. So you need to get two successes on your defense roll to parry. Okay. Him. Uh, which, with my defensive talent, I've got one, but I can't push this, can I? Why you not? can, it's an action. Oh, okay. Um, it's I not armor, just, this. I was just, I was, oh, because it's an, it's an active thing. You reserved an action to make a defense in, roll. So in, the, in the books, it normally talks about only the attacker can push. Push. Um, but uh, does it? So oh. I think it does say that actually. But I've never, as a GM, I've never played it for a PC. Oh. Okay, well that's too. It's, it's, up to Matthew, it's up to Matthew. Yeah. Okay, you can't we push it then. If you're going to lecture me on the rules, then I'll go rules as written, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so you can though. So one point of damage gets. Th he he manages to defeat your jewel knife. Uh, your your parry with his jewel knife stabs you. But you've still got your armor of your protective clothing. Yes, which is three. Uh, and that gives me nothing. So I take how much? Jura knife is two points of damage. Oh, well, I am. I did, did the materia shield falls again. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Avima is back on the ground. Broken. Um, the. the, the the priest is saying, we do not need to kill each other over this. We have what we want. You want something that we have. You can have those. Just do not kill everybody in this complex. Uh, I'm going to point my rifle at him. Oh, no, he's still got the guy. What, is, what does his guard do? What does the guard do when he says that? Is he... Uh, he he looking beggars at have uh, at the at the prophet. I don't think he agrees at all. Um, I'm gonna having heard what's going on. I'm gonna stand by over the door, pointing my rifle in towards the guy who's now standing over Havima's body. Mm -hmm. Um, overwatching. I'm gonna say, drop your weapon. If he doesn't drop his weapon, I'm shooting him. Okay, so you're in one uh, quick action of an intimidate, effectively. So make I a manipulation so. roll. Uh, do you want to? Do you want to intimidate him for me, Mike Tone? Yeah. Because uh, I'm not. Do I get any bonus for the situation? Uh, no. No. Okay, I get three dice then. Uh, I get one success on three dice though. Oh, now you're going to have to make me roll. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. I shouldn't have said that. I said, if he doesn't drop his weapon, my Overwatch can shoot him. shooting him. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. I don't want to kill him, but... Well, I do want to kill him, actually. He's a Zelostian bastard. Um, your, uh, your racism against the first come has just become slightly more specific rather than <laughs> yeah it's caused me quite a lot of bother these first come guys over the last few months <laughs> he is he hesitates he um doesn't drop his weapon but he's kind of brings his he, he realizes he, he may be in losing position does he lower his weapons he lowers his weapon yeah Okay, Yakub, Tony, what do you want me to do? Uh, I 
I'm going through him and I'm shooting him. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fuck him. Slow <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> Go on. Uh... And then duck, so I can shoot him. <laughs> okay, I get two successes, which does four damage. I'll stick with that. Four damage. Yep. Um, okay. He's knocked down. Uh, uh, you cube, you can't... Uh, you, you've still got another action tell you what i'm going to make you i'm going to suggest that you might want to do a quick shot with your last action minus two i'll do a quick shot with my last action you might as well i think that might be the most yeah, efficient does... way of that uh, i get one success which that's that's three damage right he's down now finish him mm. uh, right yeah. <laughs> Oh God! Oh God! Says her. Uh, um, now um, he says, "You have to help me. I so am is. not a Zelosian." Hey, the priest guy is saying this. The prophet. Yes. You mm. just said you're a prophet of the pariah. A prophet. A prophet yeah, of the <laughs> order of the pariah. I I think I, I, but it's just in too deep. Um, I'm going to, before all this happens, I'm going to go and treat Havima. Please yeah, I'm going to cover, okay. I'm going to cover the, cover the prophet with my rifle. If he makes any hostile action, I'm going to shoot him. Okay. While you're treating, what? roll your dice to treat Havima. Use another one of my blessed M doses. Uh, I get two successes that time. Is that enough? Do you want me to push that, Havima? Uh, <laughs> I would, I, I would love some additional hit points, please, if you could. I'm going to push that then. I get <laughs> another one. So three, three successes. Three, three again. I'll take that. Thank you. And I'm back up, and I'm going to. How are you feeling, Havima? Havima's going to reconsider the tactic of running in. <laughs> <laughs> gonna rethink his life running, choices. running in blades, <laughs> blades blazing well, as as a courtesan and socialite i don't imagine you've actually had much practical experience of combat so this may be a good lesson to learn no it's, it's, <laughs> it's mostly been you know um a bit of you know uh sparring and you know a little bit of training here and there and you know a bit have of a, the old a, a big, um, and a lot of bullets. It's a lot more effective. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'll, finding. I I will pick up a Vulcan carbine with any of those homing bullets um, mm. that are lying around. Yeah, I've got a few of those. You can borrow some of yours. Sweet. So what's this? Oh, guy I've got the homing bullets. Yes, you. Well, I, I haven't got them. I've been using. He sa so he says, look. I'm, I am an agent of the Astaban, he says. I'm a Zenithian. Um, uh, I, can, I, I can work with you to get us all out of here safely. My employers will extract me if we can defeat the other two guards and rescue the other prisoners. Is the emissary here? He looks down and says, I fear the emissary is dead. The vestals arrived in their ship and they defeated him or her in psychic battle. Um, I fear... Where, where, um, where's, his, where's his body? I can take you there. But we may need to defeat two more guards, or Sorry, maybe. Who are, your, who are your employers again? Sorry. Um. Uh, uh, Zenithian Secret Service, the the Astaban, the Hegemonic Secret Service. He stresses. You're very quick to blow your cover, 
when there are like three guys, you know, with guns around you. Do, well, do you, you, are, you are you are friends. Is he telling, are you not? Is he telling the truth? I have to take a darkness point. Hmm. I'll have a darkness point. You will regret this. But <laughs> yes, he appears in this instance to be telling the truth. Okay. And so you have a way of getting 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 us and you and all the prisoners off the base. We can recover the emissary's body if what you say is true about the emissary. Is that he what looks you're saying? Kind of when, when you talk about the death of the emissary, he he looks really scared. Why why he why? Says, why are you, why are you so frightened when I say the em when about the emissary being dead? The 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 seraphs who came for him are awesome in their power. They have a technology that none here in the third horizon have. The who sorry? The seraphs. Seraphs. Where um, do they come from? Uh, I don't know exactly, but they, um, uh, Shabun seemed to um, be prepared for their arrival and he kissed the ground at their feet before welcoming them into the palace, he says. But I, I fear them and so should you. But they're not here right now. Uh, no, they left. Uh, they left some short time ago. I think we saw their ship, didn't we? Oh, you yeah, did right. indeed. A butterfly. Yeah. And yeah. even yeah. that oh, sight okay. of the ship affected you. Or you, you were scared yeah. even seeing them at a distance. So suddenly you begin to recognise where his fear right. comes from. Well, we need to clear up this place and get out, then, don't we? <clears throat> so there's two more guards, you say. Yes, um, two more, but but I probably still have authority over them. Um, we can, if we if we carry on my cover as a as a preacher, I'm sure we can get these two to cooperate, or at least into position where we can finish them off. Or maybe so. Yes. Okay. Um, I okay, fine. I'm I'm up for this. I'm taking my my carbine again, and putting the thermal thing on my back. It's not as good as I'd hoped. We're going to have to become guy? an arms dealer when you get back to Coriolis. I know. <laughs> like that guy in um, Naked Gun. He's got all his, he's got all his guns. <laughs> uh. Are we up for oh, this, guys? Yes. Let's yeah. go for it. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. So let's just go back here. Um, hopefully the last time we look at this bloody map. Um, <laughs> it's a lovely map. I enjoy looking at the map, Matthew. It's okay. Okay. Now, um, so he tells you about... Um, uh, he says that there are three surviving mystics in these cells here. He uh, okay. explains that um, uh, in in recent times, Shabun has got crazier and crazier. Um, and, so, so uh, who, who, is began, who is Shabun? Who is The Priot, I killed the guy Shabun. in the fancy armour. I killed Shabun. He began no, flaying the prisoners last week. To give them more answer to, to to make them speak more he was using them somehow um to communicate with the seraphs um hmm. uh, I'm, I'm picking up his helmet by the uh, way matthew the shaboon's helmet you're picking it up off of yeah. okay he says okay, that like this is where the seraphs defeated uh number he 17. says that yeah, uh, he says that he thinks that the order had effectively killed the body of the um, 
of the MSRE, but it, his spirit lived on uh, until the seraphs came and drove drove it out of the body and into the darkness between the stars. Mm. Now the body is just a lifeless husk, he says. Yeah, we still want to recover it, though, I think. Take it yeah. back to Coriolis. Definitely. And thirteen. And he 14... says he expects the other guard, the other two guards, will be in there. Okay. Are these well, guards then. like the Priot? Are these guards like the guards we just fought? Have they got? No, no they're just armor? they're just uh, the Ord light. Can you persuade? There's them only to one. There's no one the like the Priot. Can you persuade? Well, these I I, I think I think I I could I could do. Um, they uh, will have heard the gunfire over here. If I could uh, present you as friends of the order, um, maybe. He looks hopefully at you. We'll try it. If we need to kill them, we'll kill them. But yes, if we don't have to, we probably won't. I mean, we're all quite badly beaten up. So yeah, no more fighting would be a bonus. But yeah, okay. Let's. If you can convince them to lay or, down their arm. Or, or maybe... Maybe it would be better still if you were to change into the armor of these guards. Would you consider that? With your helmets on, if you let me do the talking. Yeah, I'm up for that. That's actually not a bad plan. How good is it? How good is their armor? You can find one that fits. It is Warriors of the Holy Light. It's armor five. That's better than my coat I'm currently wearing. Yeah, Take same here. Let's give that a try then, shall we? I'm up for that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So change your, your worn armour to five. These guys have got helmets on so you can cover your faces. Um, he suggests that you only... He looks at you, Dave, and suggests you only carry your Vulcan carbine. There are more concussion grenades here as well. Ooh. Um, I think I'm I'm gonna stay back. I think you two and him can go in. I'll stay back out of sight, and if necessary, and I'm not laying on my other weapons down. So I can I can but then come in and help. If but you will you will bad. change into the armor, but not. Yeah, but um, I'll also stay out of sight. Confront them. Yeah, I'll stay out of sight until okay. things get badly wrong. If you agree, guys. Yeah, sure. seems fair enough. So he suggests that you go. guys, that you Dave, wait here. Uh, yep. Then the other three talk to the guards here, and yep. uh, make sure they uh, um, help. He said he's going to send them out. Uh, oh, if he can send them out, he's up just the maybe. If, yes, I to, can kill them. <laughs> or he can send them out to to. Um, Prepare one of these grav tractors and bring it round this way, maybe. Bring it back oh, to this yeah. side. He could just take some time. So what is before we carry on, what is your extraction plan? Well, is I will need important? to communicate with my superiors, but there's a comm station in the in the Great Hall. I will I simply do, do give that. them a coded message and they will send an extraction team down. Do do that now and then we go and deal with the last two. That's a good plan. We um, let the extraction we let the extraction team deal with them. <laughs> if if they're floating around on a hover hover platform. Tony, do you want to either roll manipulation or spend a point on knowing whether he's lying or not? Mm -hmm. Actually, no, no, no. Uh, no, he's telling the truth. Mm. You're trying to. And how use... far away are your? Is the extraction squad? How long will they? From when you called them, how long will it be before they get here? Um. Um. Maybe minutes, but um, I honestly don't know. It's not actually something that uh, we practiced. I hope I'd never have to use it. But 
Um, I think we call it in on the way and then go in there and deal with the guards. It's just a, a, an extraction or an extermination. <laughs> um, yeah, call it in and then we'll go and deal with the guards. My manipulation, just in case uh, it's more useful, my manipulation test is eight. Dice. Well, wow, you are you are more manipulative than me, by a bit. So I just you know I I didn't want to steal anything from you earlier, but um... no, no, I think I don't think you're going to be our go-to manipulator then. Uh, you know? Then then uh, take the For name the Darius, uh, who they know not so well, and um, say that you are he from the from the palace. But this guy's coming with us, surely. Yes, yes, but just I'm just saying, if you are so good, then speak as though with his voice. Oh, okay. I shall, um, I shall be Darius. That's right. a familiar name. We heard that in a previous session, didn't we? Yeah, he's one of the guys you killed at the one palace, or Dave killed at the palace. Ah, yeah, was it one of the guys at the uh, pods with delivered to? Uh, yeah, Darius and Napota. Napota, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Cool. All right, Darius. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yep. Right. Okay. He stops in here. Um, gets the communicator here. Um, turns the jamming off. That. Oh no, the jamming was happening in the other place. But he um, swings the uh, the the laser communicator up to another point. Correlates it with a uh, some device that he has in his pocket. And then he goes to this desk here and says, um, uh, you can tell they're some kind of code words, but you're pretty sure they're saying mission ab aborted, uh, agent requires extraction. Actually, you need to say mission aborted, then mission complete, agent requires extraction. All right. Okay. okay, let's go and do all these guards. Yeah. Okay, um, so uh, do you want to do the talking then, Havima? He uh, says, sure. Just remember, tell them to bring the, um, the uh, to go fetch the grab vehicles. Tell them we're, tell them we're leaving. Our, our work here is done and we're on to our next mission. Um, bring, bring the, take, get the grab vehicles and drive them around to the back door. And that should give you enough time to uh, rescue the others. It may be that we have to engage them in combat if they're suspicious, but um, hopefully not until we take the uh, uh, your your mystics out to the uh, to the grab vehicles. Okay. Uh, so uh, Havima, dressed up all in his order of holy light, get up. He's going to walk up the stairs and to the best of his uh, knowledge is going to try a, uh, a an order of the pariah greeting something suitable um, and say <clears throat> um, uh, we've we've Clear, cleared out some some last minute business. Um, everything here is done now. Uh, we're we're now uh, leaving this place. Grab the uh, grav lifters, the grav grav loaders, grav lifters. Bring them around uh, the back end. Grav loaders. Grav loaders. Go go fetch the grav loaders. Bring them around to the back entrance. We will. Uh, uh, pack what we need and leave this place before anyone else come. Uh, before anyone else finds us. Uh, okay, you you're going to roll some dice on that one. Uh, one by by by, you you probably heard the shooting. By the martyr, we overcame them. That is three successes. That's enough. They uh, they uh, they. Uh, Pray to the martyr and say uh, as they're leaving, is Priot Shabun? Uh, uh, did he survive the combat? 
He did not. Uh, they seem to breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> <laughs> they come past you, Dave. Where were you waiting while they were talking? I think I'm, I was on this on the corridor just outside a room, and I'll just stand just back. Just outside here? Yeah, and I'll just stand back as they go by. Right. Um, I'm going to make one of them make an observation roll just to see <laughs> just if he <laughs> notices how heavily armed you are. <laughs> <laughs> So I thought you were going to hide more observation wits. Oh, crazy that observation is not bad. But no, they don't notice. <laughs> uh, and they head off up out of Save here. Give me a manipulation roll to try and say, oh, yeah, no, I've, I've looted these off the people we killed. <laughs> Which I would probably fail anyway. But <laughs> but it would be true. So it's hardly manipulation. <laughs> Which way do you want to go? Down here to the prisoners or uh, up here to the body of the martyr? I feel like we're probably in a position where we could split the team. Yeah, we need to do both, don't we? I'm so, going for the I'd body of the not. martyr, I think. Body of the martyr right. first? Good. Well, right, that's the decision that. you're making. <laughs> um, I'm, going, I'm going that way now. I think that we yeah, need okay, to I'll, go that, I'll get that way. As well. We'll yeah. go that way. All good, right. good. You're all heading up this way. <laughs> uh <laughs> It's too late to be splitting the party. And there is a... Um, there is a body of uh, what looks like um, a Mirren woman in uh, a simple gown laid out on the... Um, on the on the plinth in the middle of the room um as you slide the door open a chilling wind blows through the corridors behind you and you feel your own anxiety um welling up i'm not going to make you make a test yet mm. yet uh the body is contorted uh looks like She's been tortured. Medical apparatus line the walls. There are dirty tools. There are candles. There are incense burners scattered across a couple of Zolossian prayer rug worn floor. The large windows are covered, but there's a domed skylight letting in a little starlight from above. And that illuminates a whirling snowfall of dust and ash in the heavy silence. It's on its back, partly clothed in a simple white Mirren formal dress. The limbs and the facial expression of the emissary are twisted in a final pose of pain and despair. The steel bed it's on is cracked and a fine mesh of cracks on the floor seem to emanate from it. Dave and Tony, this is very similar to the cracks that you saw in its residence um, back on uh, Zolos, uh, uh, on the Coriolis. Coriolis. Yeah. Do, we um, do we recognize this as the, as the emissary? Yep, yeah. yeah. As, we knew, as we knew them, at least, I guess. I mean, although they'd always looked more serene when you'd seen them on the news channels. You'd, you'd yeah, not yeah, met less, them. Less, less dead. No. Um, they didn't look quite as tortured as this. And the machinery along the walls is broken and thrown about with bits of plaster from the ceiling lying here and there. It looks as if all the loose objects in the room have been pushed away from its centre by a powerful shockwave. The body on the bed looks crackled, covered with a fine grey-white powder, like ash. The cracks in the dry skin run along the slim, androgynous body up to the face, where the open mouth and the empty eye sockets have expelled a dark, strange substance, now dried. This is the observer at the council, the messenger, Nabi Mukad, but now only a lifeless husk. 
And as you stand above the emissary's mummified body, the steel bed suddenly begins to shake and the soot in the air forms a whirlwind above the body. A shrill note, high in tone, intensifies inside each of you, blocking out other sounds and you feel yourselves start to vibrate. A throbbing headache sets in and your skin begins to crawl as the whirlwind of soot and dust suddenly envelops you. Havima, you hear loud chanting as the vibrations intensify. And suddenly it appears as if your body and the room vibrate in harmony and you experience all of you you experience a moment of perfect stillness fire bursts forth from the emissary's dark eyes and mouth and you are blinded by a bright light as the ground beneath your feet disappears and you are transported from somewhere far away as you blink through the bright light and regain your senses you realise you're surrounded by terraced fields and high crops. Farther down in the lush green valley below, you see a small group of white spherical buildings in perfect rows. Two pale suns chase each other across the blue sky. On the horizon, three enormous ziggurats reach for the heavens. Somewhere in the distance, you can hear a wind chime. You hear singing behind you and spot someone approaching you across the field. The song is in a foreign tongue, but it moves you deeply. The singer, on the other hand, seems quite ordinary, a short androgynous looking person in a long yellow robe with simple floral embroideries in white and gold held together at the waist with three white ribbons. A red shawl covers the shoulders. A simple hat in many colours protects the shaved head from the sun and tattoos of scrolling vines on the forehead and cheeks contrasted in gold against the black skin frame a friendly smile in a weathered face. The singer bows courteously and addresses you leaning on a short walking stick. We meet at last. You must uh, pardon me the circumstances, but my vessel has been destroyed and we can and can no longer speak for me. Poor bastard. I was able to repair both the damage from the gas giant's fumes and withstand the martyr's futile attempts to torture. But it would seem that our ancient nemeses finally caught up with me. The singer looks up and you notice all of you that the sky is hastily darkening. A thunderstorm comes rolling down the mountainsides and the wind picks up as a gentle rain begins to fall. We don't have much time. The enemy have advanced their plans much further than expected. The Taoan incident was just the beginning. That white butterfly will continue to chip away at the barricade you built all those years ago. Its agents are awakening and my siblings are in danger. We had hoped to reach you sooner, but the song wasn't strong enough. Together, we hope to stir your forgotten memories and ready you for the coming storm. But the winged shadow threatens everything. Will you fall too, as I have? I am but an echo of my true self, a winged songbird whose frail notes only live in the vibrations of temple windows, in the heaving breath of marble floors and in the sighing of the wind. Without the others, the song will never be strong enough. And without the song, there is no hope for the third horizon. The clouds above are suddenly lit up 
brightly from behind and a deafening bang reverberates through the valley. The singer looks up and turns to you again with a troubled look in the piercing eyes. The butterfly sought to destroy me by sapping energy from the darkness and something is about to break through. We will meet again, but you must return home now. The singer bows again and in a blinding flash of light, you find yourselves back in the room at the hospital in the Sultra next to the emissary's dead body. The air above the bed vibrates. Hold on, bring this up. Give me a moment. The air above the bed vibrates. Hmm. And an impossible crack appears at the heart of the vibrations around which the light seems to ripple and bend and a powerful wind roars through the room as the rip widens and flaps of darkness unfold fluttering like flags in a storm the emissary's body is torn to shreds as if it were a slip of paper and the dark flaps gather to form a grotesque entity crowned in a halo in all the colors of the rainbow a creature of absolute darkness hisses at you, evoking primordial memories of everything mankind has ever feared. And I think we should probably wait for that final confrontation until the new year. Ah, this game just never ends. I love it. <laughs> love it. Combat takes a long time, doesn't it? That's what it is. Yeah, there's a lot of combat going on. In this in this episode, in particular. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Excellent. One, one final Excellent. one final episode of of this. You think? I <laughs> think yes. There is just this creature to defeat, but this creature is fueled in darkness points. And I'm sorry, our darkness cam stopped working, or had to stop our darkness cam. But we had 13. Uh, we now have. Okay. Let me just 10. I have one hit point. Three. I have three. 25. Uh, sorry, oh, okay. uh, 10. 25 uh, darkness points. Oh, boy. You guys might be rolling up new characters for the next part of the campaign. Yeah. <laughs> It's not impossible. Mm. Cool. It's As uh, Millie says, though, it does mean that the whole campaign will take around 30 episodes. 30 episodes. I was a little... Excellent. Yeah. Uh, 29. So yeah. next Monday, shall we meet again? We four? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I think that should be fine. And we've had uh, comments on Twitch from Shadza saying that we should change the... I say we, I mean you. Change yeah, the category right. of the um, podcast the of the show on Twitch mm. from talk shows and podcasts to being tabletop role -playing. Tabletop RPGs. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, so, that's good advice. Thank yeah, you for the advice. Thanks, um... Uh, uh, let me just see oh. if I can reply to him. I also discovered here that I can now reply to just Twitch. Ah, not, so, not to both. Yeah, so there is an all button, but you can... Um... Cool. Right then, should we, um, yeah. should we sign off? Yeah. So we sign off. I'm sorry we didn't get to the end, but I think this is going to take some time, particularly as you were just loading me up with bloody darkness points. We did try. We did try. <laughs> but yeah, next week for the definitely for the finale. For, <laughs> for the third final episode. Third finale. So just a three part, you know, three part series finale, isn't it? That's all. But yeah. Uh, Cheers. Right. Even See Millie's going to bed now as well, so we must be late. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Let's say goodbye and quit goodbye. this adventure.